Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. Okay, our story centers around an anthropologist who's conducting research in an area where it's rumored there are still cavemen. And this anthropologist has got a tool to search for artifacts, and this tool is an axe. It's an anthropologist with an axe for B. anthracis, the cause of anthrax. Anthropologist axe, anthrax. Get it? And on top of him is his friend, uh, and it's a bird polybird. And that bird has got a D on it for poly D glutamate. And it's surrounding him, if you will. It's on top of him. And that's because B. anthracis has a poly D glutamate capsule. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is Medusa. And that's to remind you that B. anthracis forms Medusa head colonies on 5% sheep blood agar. Notice here that we have a tree that's got coca nuts. Nuts are always our symbol in our stories for bacteria that are spore forming. Bacillus anthracis is a spore forming bacteria. And we have our friendly snakes here that come up all the time in our uh, gram positive bacilli bacteria stories. And uh, that's to remind you that they are gram positive rods. And we have three of them. So our snake brought his friends today. And that's to remind you that these form chains, gram-positive bacilli in chains. Also notice they don't have their masks on, and that's because this is an aerobic bacteria. Now notice here we have a sign that says lethal, and lethal means lethal toxin. So this is a very foreboding uh, sign here. Lethal, don't go into that cave, it's lethal. And next to it is this map that's torn up maybe going to tempt our anthropologist. This map is next to the lethal sign uh, because lethal factor cleaves map kinase. Cleaves map kinase. Oh no, what's happening now? We've got our caveman here. He finally discovered a caveman and he's running away. Notice that the caveman has edema. Notice those bumps there? It's just edematous. And that's to represent edema factor. Edema factor is another component of anthrax toxin. And notice that he's running towards camp. And the camp sign is pointed upwards. And that's because edema factor inc increases cyclic AMP. Now, look at what this, uh, this sign is on. It's on this black mound, eschar, if you will, with these embers around it, or papules or erythema. And this is cutaneous anthrax. And then inside the cave, we have this relic here, which is a carving of an animal. And that's to represent that anthrax is, uh, is something that you typically get from exposure to animal hides. Uh, now, pulmonary anthrax comes from inhalation of spores, typically from animals, from wool. Oh no, now we have another caveman and he's running away from something too. And notice that he is carrying a club. And that club is to remind you uh, roughly of the shape of the mediastinum when it's widened. He's next to a fire because pulmonary anthrax, as we're uh, this caveman represents, uh, pulmonary anthrax causes a fever. Oh, what happened? He just coughed up blood. He coughed up blood because pulmonary anthrax causes hemoptysis. Now we have some animals coming in. And first we have a flock of seagulls. A seagull flox for ciprofloxacin, which is one of the components of treatment. And then we have these cute little mice, and they're cleaning. They're cleaning the cave. Cleaning mice for clindamycin. And then finally, we have these bamboo here, which roughly resemble what the bacteria look like as they are uh, uh, forming these chains. 
And on top of them is the antitoxin. They're bamboo that grow antitoxin. Interesting. So uh, an antitoxin is necessary to give in any anthrax infection alongside your antibiotics. And that is our story of the anthropologist who probably got himself in way over his head.